Malaysians have heard a lot about moving up the value chain these past few years. Whatever the economic sector, the clarion call has been for industry to start working in more specialized fields, enabling them to command higher margins. Only in such a way is a high-income nation possible. The IT sector is no different. Once upon a time, Malaysia essentially focused on manufacturing products originating from developed economies. But this is quickly changing. Business Circle managed to catch up with key panel members of the International Advisory Panel, a panel that advises the Prime Minister on technology. Members of the panel include industry leaders such as Huawei, Intel and PayPal. The panel members said that Malaysia remains an important platform for their products and services because of several reasons. The three panel members had the following to say about Malaysia's prospects. Malaysia for Intel is an incredibly important place. In fact, uh, we've been here the last 40 years or so, since 1972. Um, it started as a manufacturing site, but over time it's evolved to not just manufacturing, but also development design, and now increasingly offering IT services uh, to other parts of the world. So Malaysia for us is a critically important part of our business. One of the biggest opportunities we're really excited about is this explosion of smart devices on the internet. And uh, we used to talk about how you could get a billion people connected to the internet, and of course that's happened. But now we talk about getting a trillion smart devices connected to the internet. And of course, what that really means is all these devices are smart, they're intelligent, and there's this great opportunity for Malaysians and for Malaysian businesses to create and offer solutions and services for those smart devices on the internet. And that's one of the industries that we're trying to build here in cooperation uh, with the government and local businesses. Well, we actually opened a center here, PayPal opened a center here in Kuala Lumpur in 2011, in November. And we did that specifically because we know that there's great talent in the market. We've been doing partnerships here in Malaysia with internet companies and banks for the past several years. And that's given us an idea of the caliber of people that we have available to us. So we made a very conscious decision to open a center in less than a year, we've hired over 300 Malaysians into our center, and uh, we have very aggressive growth plans for the future. Well, a lot of exciting things happening with PayPal in Southeast Asia. Uh, PayPal really wants to be anywhere, anytime, any way you want to pay, PayPal wants to be there. So apart from our traditional e-commerce model where you're checking out online, we want to be where you're checking out with your mobile phone. We're also going to be introducing new products throughout Southeast Asia, such as credit card readers that attach to your mobile phone. Small businesses who in the, in the past couldn't have accepted alternate forms of payment can now accept PayPal, can accept credit cards, can accept debit cards, and really opening up the market for whole new swaths of consumers and merchants to grow their businesses. Consumers are buying everything. Uh, we're surprised that in Malaysia, some of the biggest items are electronics. And these are not electronics being imported, but actually electronics being exported out of Malaysia. So either people are building their own electronics here and selling them overseas, or importing them in bulk and selling them to other markets. Malaysia is very important to the company. The company has been very important to the company. The goal of the company is to help Malaysia to improve the company.